what is your assessment of what's been happening in Ferguson? Well, let's start with the last. And what's happening in Ferguson is a reenactment of 500 years of American history. Uh, it goes back to 1619. Slaves were brought over, they were tortured, terrorized, and treated hideously. You want to know how they were treated? Take a look at this morning's New York Times. There's a very evocative article on ISIS and how it treated Yazidi prisoners. That's American history. That's the way our African-American population was treated. Worse than that, in fact, and for a long period. In fact, as I said, there's only a few breaks in it. Uh, militarization was one of the techniques of crushing uh, the, the slave movement and everything that followed from it. Now it's incarceration and militarization of police. We're reenacting 500 years of American history. You have to understand that. Uh, and that's hard to deal with, uh, but it has to be faced seriously. And you can argue about the details of what happened in Ferguson, but the background and the general framework is hideously clear. It should be perfectly obvious to anyone who knows anything about American history with us all the time. The non-indictment of Jared Wilson means he got away with murder. He murdered Michael Brown. And right now, he's going to get away with it. You are unlawfully assembled and blocking the street. You need to disperse immediately, or you will be subject to arrest. Do it now. This travesty of injustice, you haven't seen anything yet. We're getting ready to tell America in a very bold, non-violent way that we're tired of the murder of our boys on the streets of America. We're tired of looking and seeing the material, the, the militaristic way that they are controlling our communities and shooting our boys down. 